With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's see the question. The question says in figure 6.33, PQ and RS are two mirrors placed parallel to each other. An incident ray AB strikes the mirror A, PQ at B and reflected ray moves along the path DC and strikes the mirror RS at C and again reflects back along CD. So prove that AB is parallel to CD. So now let's approach to the solution. So we will draw this particular figure once again. So this is one mirror, this is two mirror. Let us name these two mirrors. The name of this mirror is PQ. Name of this mirror is RS. This is the incident one. This is the reflected one. And this is again the reflected one. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. So this is this arrow, this arrow and this arrow. Let's draw two perpendicular line. This perpendicular line that is BM and this perpendicular line that is CL. So let us name this angle 1, this is angle 2, this is angle 3, this is angle 4. So we are we just made this BM perpendicular to PQ and this CL perpendicular to RS and also we know that PQ is parallel to RS so based on this we can infer that the, this side BM is parallel to CL now now what is going what we are going to do we will check the alternate angle so we can say that this angle 2 and this angle 3 will be alternate angle and equal since this line and this line are, are parallel so this angle 2 will be equal to angle 3 again using angle using law of reflection at this point P and law of reflection at this point C, we can say that angle of 1 is equal to angle 2, that is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Similarly here, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection, that is 3 is equal to 2. So we can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So now what we infer from these three statement, that is this statement, this and this statement, let us write angle 1 is equal to this angle 2 and this angle 2 is equal to angle 3 and this angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So we can write here angle 4. So now see the figure once again angle 1 is equal to angle 4. So this particular angle 1 is equal to this angle 4 and we know that this angle 2 is equal to angle 3 over here. So if we add this angle 2 with this angle 1 and this angle 3 with this angle 4 then nothing will happen because it is in respect with the lot so we can write angle 1 plus this angle 2 is equal to this angle 4 plus this angle 3 so this angle 1 plus 2 what is this so this angle 1 plus 2 is nothing but b and this angle 3 plus 4 is nothing but c so we can say that it is a b and c so this particular angle is angle a b c similarly this particular angle is b c d this particular angle is b c d so both these angles are equal and we know that these are interior angles and are equal hence we can write that a b is parallel to c d thank you hope you understood the solution for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.